we write and say that x approaches positive infinity to mean that x is taking on arbitrarily large values. In other words, there is no bound to how large x can be. So for example, x could be 10, then 100, then 1,000, then 10,000, and so on. So x can grow as large as you want. And so if we look now at the reciprocal, 1 over x, following the same sequence of values of x, then 1 over x, 1 over 10 is 0 0.1, then 1 over 100, 0 0.01, 1 over 1,000, 0 0.001, 1 over 10,000, 0 0.0001, and so on. So it should be clear that as x approaches infinity, as x is getting larger and larger and larger, the reciprocal 1 over x is getting closer and closer to 0. It's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So as x goes to infinity, 1 over x approaches 0. And we can now look at the more general case for any positive power of x. So if x approaches infinity, then any positive power of x will also be approaching infinity. As x gets larger and larger and larger, any positive power of x will also be getting larger and larger and larger. And so we can also now look at the reciprocal as well. Since x to the n approaches infinity, 1 over x to the n will be approaching 0. And we can write this using the limit notation. In the first case, a limit, as x goes to positive infinity, of any positive power of x will also be approaching positive infinity. And the limit, as x approaches infinity, of the reciprocal, 1 over x to the n, will be approaching 0.